Yo, what's up? How you all doing? So, I'm doing things a little bit differently. Um, doing my thank you video for everybody on my Patreon. I, again, thank you so much for your help. Um, I thought, you know, hey, let's, let's make this more interesting and do, like, art tips and stuff. You know, art tips. So, here I am to give you some art tips, alright? da 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 Okay, so what I was thinking is, you know, starting out from like the very, very beginning. And when I was a kid, this was it. This was, this was it, man. Now, now, nowadays it's a little bit more modern, you know, and stuff. Anyways, um, so this, this was kind of what set me on the right path. Um, and what this book does is that it um, teaches you to look for... Um, uh, shapes in, 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 in objects and stuff like letters and numbers and stuff like that. It's like, you know, it's like, Hey, say you want to draw this, this, this hen, you know, um, start off with the letter D, you know, and, and then, and then you put, uh, you know, there's, there's triangles and everything. You got another triangle. Oh, and there's a letter U. And, you know, then there's a W. And, you know, you just oh, on and on and on. And then all of a sudden, you know, you got yourself a hen. Why? Because, you know, so, you know, um, it's kind of like it, it helps you look for shapes in objects. And so what I figured is that I would show you some examples of that in what I draw and everything. So here we go. So anyways, like, well, uh, there's, there's kind of like three levels of realism to me. There's like, there's like actual, you know, real life realism, you know, polar burr. And then there's kind of like this, you know, uh, other level of realism where it's like it's anthropomorphic, but it's it's still realistic. But I mean, this doesn't exist, you know. So you have to you have to figure out what you're gonna do. Let's ride. And then then you have kind of like you know tune tuny, um, and then very very tuny, um, and such. And and you know like the the chibi you know, super deformed stuff and everything. Um, so I guess it's kind of like a fourth level. I don't know. It's, it, you know, anyways. So you got three different levels of realism, but all of them contain the same thing, which is all, it all has the same shapes and stuff. So like, like with this polar burr here, I'm just going to concentrate on drawing the faces. We'll do, we'll do bodies and poses later on. But when you look at it, oh, check it out. It's a big D, you know, big, big D. So, so yeah, so, I mean, we're going to, you know, draw now I'm, I'm like about two feet away from the paper here, so it's not going to be directly on and stuff, but you know, I'm, I'm seeing there's like a D and, and you can kind of, you know, bow that out and, and, and I mean, you don't have to be exact. It's just, just very, very loose. Even the way I'm holding the pencil, I'm not like going like, you know, or just going like this, this is how you write. And, and no, you just, just be loose, you know, just, just, just kind of be loose. And so then what also I'm seeing is I'm looking at the muzzle area here and, um, it kind of has like this, this U shape right there. So I'm going to do that and you go, you, okay. And I mean, the thing is that, you know, to, your style is going to, 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 to break out on its own. The more and more you draw. Um, but, uh, for now it's like, you know, I always just do really loose and then I tighten up later on, you know, you bear down and clench, <laughs> you know, and stuff like that. So, um, and then what I see right here with the top of the muzzle is a V. So we're going to do V like that. Um, the nose, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's a thick oval. And then, and then you see, you know, you basically have, um, you know, like, like an, an L or an I or whatever. And then another one. So you could go do, do, do. And then the eyes. I, I, so eye style is always going to vary from artist to artist to artist. But I'm looking at this very, very specifically here. Um, it's not a circle. Um, it's, it's like an almond shape. It's, it's got a point here and a point there. 
and it's got an arch. So um, when you do that, it's kind of like, you know, you can go round and such, but then you start going and really, you know, making sure that it's, you know, it's got those points there. And then the ears are, are really, really important. Ear shape from species to species to species. It's always going to have its unique flavor. Um, so many times I've seen an artwork, uh, I'm not knocking it or anything like that, but it just seems like, like, oh, I can draw an otter or a cat or a dog or a deer the exact same way. I just have to change ear and nose styles. And it's like, well, okay, if you want to do that, that's cool. You know, that's your thing go for it, you know, but, um, variety really helps everything stand out, um, and such. So, uh, just, just keep that in mind. Again, do your own thing. Be you. That's cool. You know, but for me, I'm like going, okay, these polar burr ears are, it's, it's, it's a very open, lazy you within a you. Um, and so, but also pay attention to where they fall on the head. Um, I've, I've kind of noticed this ratio or this whatever rule is that the eye, the tip of the eye goes out to the tip of the ear where it's connected. And then the bottom of the eye where, where that crease is, where that, where that, you know, where one eyelid, you know, meets the other or the top or the, whatever, it's got that point that goes to the bottom of the ear. And it kind of has this angle. It's like, like, like you know, uh, an, an acute angle. That's so cute. And so, um, so yeah, you know, that's, that's kind of like what I do. So I'm going to point that out and I'm just going to take that out and up oh, there we go. And there we go like that. And then, you know, take that the same way. I'm like looking at like the little viewfinder of my camera here, <laughs> but you know, and, and so, um, so, so there, 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 there is your burr. Um, and again, it's very, very loose. The point, the, the point is, is that again, you know, have fun, enjoy what you're doing. You're doing this to relax and have fun. This isn't like a, 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 a contest. If you feel intimidated by someone else's artwork, don't be, you know, be inspired by it. it you know, keep that eye in there, but just change it from intimidated to inspire. And, you know, even think about saving the artwork in a folder called Inspiration on your computer. And all the artwork that you see, you're just like, oh my gosh, that's so good. How do I do that? You know, you just, you just put it in there. And then when, when you're like kind of stuck for ideas or inspiration, you go back to that folder and you look at it and go, wow, how did that artist do that? And you can look there and that's, that's how you do it, you know, and you kind of use that instead of being intimidated, you'd be inspired. Um, so one more step here with this. And so the thing that, you know, with furry artwork, what always makes the difference between an animal head stuck on a human body versus a express, expressive character, character is adding that lip. Adding a lip denotes that it has a mouth that can talk and, and, and express itself and everything like that. Um, you know, um, the other thing too, is that you put little creases in the mouth that give that corner for lips, you know, or for, for the mouth, you know, um, like for example, check, check, uh, this out right here. So let's see, we have, you know, this, this polar burr. But when you, when you look at the corners right there, it has that pinch. It has that little like extra, um, width right there at the end. And that, and, and, and it looks like he's like, like he or she has this expression. It's kind of like this, Hmm. Hey, hi, how's it going? More, you know, sort of thing. Same thing with this wolf here. Um, uh, this, this statue has eyeballs. It's going to look where you are. It's, it follows you anyways, but see how it has that, that little extra thickness right there in the line for the, for its muzzle. Um, and so when you tilt it or, you know, how you change it and everything, it, it, it gives, it still has this, it, this human expression. Um, 
and I think that's really important with, with making a character that relates to the audience or to your viewer. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. I've gone a little bit long, but you know, hey, thanks for, for, for checking this out. Thanks for giving me your time and for watching and everything. Um, and I'm hoping to do kind of one of these every month. Uh, next month we'll talk about poses and everything. Um, I want to give a special shout out to my $10 and up pledgers on Patreon. Thank you so much. Without your help, I couldn't do stuff like this. So thank you to Maho, Kalis, Wooful, Bix, Tygon, Lobo Diablo, Don Wolf, Gralf, Christy Calico, Stripey, and Bunny Brewster. But again, thank you to everybody on my Patreon. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, until next time, love y'all. Bye! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good wolf. <laughs>